Alright, welcome back to Bighorn Woodworks. I'm Paul and today we're going to do the Lichtenberg burn on this tulip vase that I made here uh, a couple weeks ago. Weather's finally warm enough. I'm not worried about the water freezing over the surface. There for a while it was in the negative, uh, I think negative 13 when I actually made this. So we had 55 degrees today. I think uh, current temperature is about 45. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try it out, see what happens. I'm, I'm nervous, a little nervous, uh, kind of excited too. So. Stay, stay with me. So this is my first real Lichtenberg burn. Yeah, I did that one board here a few weeks ago, um, but this is the first time I'm actually trying to do a project. Um, it's with a lot of experimentation. You know, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, so I'm, uh, I'm playing around with wait times in the water, uh, different solutions, along with the soak at different times. So I'm trying to get this thing to, to cook right, and, uh, and it's just a lot of experimentation. So right now, it looks pretty cool though. I'm really excited.
All right, folks, so I'm all done with putting the finish on the Lichtenberg Tulip Vase. I've got four coats of, or five, five coats of sanding sealer, and I've got eight coats of the lacquer. So uh, lacquer's got to sit for about a week before you can do anything to it uh, as far as buffing it out. So let that, I'm just going to put that on the shelf and let that sit. Uh, actually, a week from now, I'll be heading on vacation, so it's going to sit for quite a bit longer than just the week that it needs. Uh, and then when I come back, I'll put a nice high polish on it and uh, see what it looks like. It's my first time doing Lichtenberg, so um, really looking forward to the results. I actually really like how it's turned out. Kind of, kind of surprised though, uh, and and I suppose it makes sense when I was uh, burning it and cleaning it and sanding it off. Um, some of that, um, some some of that color leached into the surrounding maple. And uh, see if I can get this here. I'll show you what this looks like. So, and then I'll try and put like a side-by-side -side comparison on this. So, this is the color of maple uh, after I've done the Lichtenberg burning. And I'm going to try and put a picture right here. Put a picture right here of the original ball, or original tulip vase, to show side-by-side -side comparison. The difference in color between when it first started and now. So... Um, anyway, really neat, <coughs> sorry, really neat, cool stuff, um, I'm excited to, to continue to do more of this, I really, really love the whole Lichtenberg idea, um, I've got, in fact, I was just looking at a board right now, I'm thinking that while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go set up the table and do a Lichtenberg uh, charcuterie board, so look for, uh, look for that one in the future too, so anyway, Letting that sit, um, be a couple weeks, but for you just a couple seconds, then I'll come back and finish things, this thing up. All right, so uh, it's been uh, curing for, uh, it's probably about 10, maybe 12 days now. So uh, about a dozen coats of finish on here and I uh, want to take it and put it on the buffing wheel and really get it shined up. So I think it's called Triple E. I'm still getting used to the whole buffing thing, so we'll start with some Tripoli. And uh, on the first wheel, this is the BL buffing system. Let's see if I can turn you here.
right, so this was uh, an experiment, uh, I guess, uh, my first ever uh, attempt at doing Lichtenberg burning. I uh, wanted to make a little tulip vase, so this is it. Uh, this is actually part two of a video that I've already done. I showed you how I did the vase. And then this video is all about doing the Lichtenberg burn. So you can see the pattern in there, kind of nice. Yep. And then I just took and I put a bunch of coats of uh, varnish on there, or uh, lacquer, put a bunch of coats of lacquer. Uh, I do have to work on my lacquer work. Um, it was, uh, it, it didn't, it didn't look exactly like I wanted it to. I mean, it looks good, but not as good as I would like to. This will end up being a stay-at-home piece, put on the table. My wife will love it, but it won't be something that I try and sell or get rid of. So, um, but I really like it. I really like the way it turned out. Got my little stamp of approval on there. And uh, so, oh yeah, and stamp of approval. I finally decided to put a stamp of approval on the hammer. So, you saw that. And... Uh, there it is. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll put a link to the, uh, the first video up here. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.